And remember this couple accused of having sex on Bradenton Beach last year with everybody around? Well, the lewd and lascivious trial started today in Manatee County. Fox 13's Michael Shingleton talked to their attorney who spelled out what their defense will be. Michael? Well, Cynthia, he said that perception is not always reality, and he agreed that uh, there's no way of proving that his clients were actually having sex. The key to this case lies for the jury at least, in how they perceive a cell phone video that captured the two in the middle of the afternoon in front of several people, including children. Caught on tape, a bit of an understatement. It's been nine months since Bradenton Beach Police arrested Ben Caballero and Alyssa Alvarez. Friday, they'll have their day in court. You know, they've been emotionally involved in trying to decide what's the right thing to do. And that's been tough on them. Their attorney and the state whittled down a jury pool of 50. Last July, their arrests and story went viral and created a buzz throughout Manatee County. It went international. And, uh, because that headline is, is pretty sexy, no pun intended. And that made finding an impartial Manatee County jury that much more difficult. We had to, uh, go through the sensitivities of folks and, and what their opinions were about those type of things and it took a little longer than we expected. The state will call four witnesses, a police officer and three family members who confronted the couple that day. Emily Hall is one of them. I just want them to learn that it's not right to do something so vulgar and so serious and, and just not care. Hall never thought this would get to trial. She says her four-year-old son was subjected to something no child should see. She went into mommy mode that day, confronted the couple and says she was met with resistance and attitude. Had they had been, you know, respectful and said, you know what, I'm sorry, you're right, this was wrong. Um, yeah, that, that would have been a lot smoother ride for everybody, I think. The state offered Caballero a plea deal of three years in prison and a lifetime as a sex offender, which he declined. The decision was made that that was pretty harsh, and uh, it just came back each time that the client said, you know, we didn't do anything wrong. If he's found guilty, Caballero will be sentenced to 15 years in state prison because of his criminal history. Alvarez could get up to 15. Emily Hall says... That's a long time, but... I think that whatever the law says, then that needs to be. Opening statements are Friday morning. We'll be there in the newsroom tonight on Michael Shingleton, Fox 13 News.